about politics. Hi, this is Buck Trace with the Trust Vote Report. Ohio's decision to buy new voting machines will make the difference between hackable or less hackable elections. Let's begin by stating the obvious. All computer voting machines can be hacked. We remember when Ohioans witnessed their votes jumping from John Kerry to George Bush on voting machines in Youngstown during the 2004 election. Ohio's previous Secretary of State, Jennifer Bruner, conducted the seminal Everest study of Ohio voting machines in 2007 and found that all of them had security problems. The study concluded that, quote, Unfortunately, the findings in this study indicate that the computer-based voting machines in use in Ohio do not meet computer industry security standards and are susceptible to breaches of security that may jeopardize the integrity of the voting process, end quote. Back in July 2017, computer hackers at the Vegas DEFCOM Cybersecurity Conference hacked all the 30 voting machines brought to the event. Whether it is the software or built in to the machine firmware, all have well-documented vulnerabilities. And of course, we all accept the Russians probably hacked into our voting system during the 2016 election. But the greatest threat to hacking the U.S. elections is not from the Russians fooling around uh, during the election in our registration roles, but from private, for-profit companies that secretly program voting machines and election tabulators. For over a decade, the New York Times refused to conclude that voting machines could be hacked. But this February, to their credit, they published an excellent overview article entitled The Myth of the hacker-proof voting machine. Yet, between now and August, Ohio's county boards of elections will be entrusted to select new computerized voting machines, despite their failures. Granted, most of Ohio's voting equipment was purchased following the 2000 election and in the aftermath of the 2004 Buckeye State presidential debacle. However, no state should be allowed to purchase a direct recording electronic voting machine, a notorious DRE, no way. That means they don't have any paper. Surprisingly, Ohio Secretary of State John Houston has suggested that every county board of election should purchase machines that are paper-based. Houston's $118 million figure is based on every county purchasing a paper ballot-based system. A successful hack is least likely to incur on a high-speed digital scanning machine, such as an OptiScan voting machine. The Free Press unequivocally endorses hand-counted paper ballots at the precinct level. In New York State, county voting official Virginia Martin has used hand-counted paper ballots and speaks all over the country on how easy it is to do. If machines, unfortunately, must be purchased, what Houston has suggested and what he's demanding is the best method. Digitally scanned paper ballots with built-in audit logs and electronically digitized ballot images. That's the way we should go. That's the way vote counts can actually be audited later. He must also demand that every computer system use transparent, open source coding.